bromine reacts with the aromatic substrate to form para sub ortho and para substituted products the major would be para and the minor amount would be the ortho now when we talk about aceta analyte where you can have groups like nh2 oh on benzene ring when i talk about such groups nh2 group say benzene ke upar jab lagega it would be aniline OH lagega, it would be phenol. So, but these NH2 and OH groups are highly activating groups. They're going to activate the benzene ring in such a way that you would end up in bromination at all the three positions, two, four, six. So I don't want that all the three positions should be brominated, but I want mono substituted products. So for that, we protect the NH2 group by reacting it with acetic anhydride to form acetanilide. So this group, NHCOCH3 group, is a bigger group. It is not so activating like NH2 or OH. So when I'm going to react it with bromine, now you can see that this is a resonance hybrid of these two structures and when it's going to react with the bromine what is going to happen you will find the para substituted product being formed as a major product i repeat again it is an example of electrophilic substitution reaction where the electrophile is the bromine atom it reacts with bromine has partial positive and partial negative charge so the partial so the negative charge on the aromatic ring reacts with the partially positive bromine to form the substituted product and you end up with para brominated acetanilide you can form ortho as well but the ortho formation would be less due to steric hindrance the ortho formation would be less due to steric hindrance more would be the para product but when we take highly activating groups like phenol and aniline two four six tri substituted products would be formed tri substituted so if i have phenol i reacted with bromine i would end up with two four six tri bromo phenol if i have aniline and i reacted with bromine i would end up with two four six tri bromo phenol so this is the reaction where bromination takes place for aromatic moieties for aromatic groups and what is important here is you must know the mechanism of the reaction remember it is a negative charge which will react with the positive charge so let us talk about the actual reaction let us talk about what happens and how do you perform the bromination reaction so the aim of the experiment is to prepare para bromo acetanilide from acetanilide so we have acetanilide and we reacted with bromine the end reaction is the para bromo acetanilide so it forms both ortho and para but the major product is but the major product is para and the minor product is ortho the major product is para and the minor product is ortho so how does the reaction happen and what is the procedure let's see that so you take around 4 grams of acetanilide and dissolve it in 14 ml of glacial acetic acid so that acts as a solvent or a medium for the dissolution of your substrate which is acetanilide and you add to it another flask you take so you've prepared your substrate dissolved it in glacial acetic acid which is a solvent you take another flask and you take around 1.6 ml of bromine in glacial acetic acid which is around 8 ml and transfer it into a small separating funnel or maybe a burette you have to be very 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 careful i'm using the word three times because bromine is a highly reactive species so once you have to be very very careful highly because bromine can do disaster when it is so for example when it is spilled out so it can it can cause extreme skin problems it can cause an extreme accident so you have to be very very careful while handling bromine so if you take it in a burette you'll be given help so you will take take it in a burette dissolved in glacial elastic acid 
in either a separating panel or in a burette. So you have to put that on a stand and below that is a flask which contains your substrate, which is the acetanilide. Then what you do is taking utmost care and maintaining ice cold conditions, taking utmost care and maintaining ice cold conditions, you have to do the addition. You have to add very, very slowly and very, very carefully. You would find that after the entire addition, maybe you took around 20 minutes to add 1.6 ml of bromine, you would find that the solution would change orange in color. The solution changes orange in color and you have to stir it. You have to stir the flask occasionally so that the complete reaction or complete conversion from acetanilide to para bromo acetanilide occurs. Now you have to, after the entire solution turns yellow, you will pour the solution into ice cold water and you would find that there would be a precipitation reaction, a white precipitate of para bromo acetanilide would separate out, you would again uh, filter it, filter it and dry it to obtain the para bromo. You have to wash it many times, the washing would remove the ortho and washing would remove the unreacted acetanilide to wash it several times and till you get a pure white colored product which is your para bromo acetanilide so this is how but the most important condition is you have to be very careful the very simple reaction just simple addition takes place and the reaction takes place for sure short but the most important precaution is that you have to be very very careful while handling bromine and you could also recrystallize the para bromo acetanilide by dissolving it in alcohol rectified spirit and then heating it on a water bath filtering it the hot solution and you would find that the pure colorless crystals of para bromo acetanilide would be formed you can filter it you can dry the dry the precipitate and weigh them to get the percentage yield. And finally, you can calculate the melting point of the product to find out whether the para acetanilide has been formed and what is the purity. So I think this is the experiment all about to prepare para acetanilide from acetanilide as the starting material and the reaction is called as bromination. So I think it is very clear.